Well, let's now speak to Alan Neal, who's a former Director General of Israel's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He was also Ambassador to South Africa, and he's joining us from Tel Aviv. Thank you for being with us, Mr. Neal, on Al Jazeera. Uh, again, uh, before I ask you about what's motivating uh, Israel's ban of UNRWA, I wanted to, to talk to you about the situation in Gaza currently, even as Israel is being criticized and attacks uh, for its actions on UNRWA. Its indiscriminate killing of civilians in Gaza continues. We've got 93 people killed in this latest Israeli attack on the north. What are today Israel's war aims in the Gaza Strip? Is it to depopulate the territory of its Palestinian population? Um, when I speak about Israel's aim, it's the, game, the aims of the government. It doesn't mean I support it. The aim is both in Gaza and in Lebanon to overcome any military type of activity in Gaza and in Lebanon until the military capabilities of both Hamas and Hez uh, Hezbollah are gone. This, this is uh, the aim, and Netanyahu puts it as total victory, and uh, this uh, stayed the aim. Of course, they want the hostages back too, but uh, uh, they are not compromising on the issue of total victory. Yeah, you say overcome the military activities uh, in Gaza and Lebanon. How does targeting a building with civilians who have been seeking shelter there uh, achieve that aim militarily? How, what does that have to do with military uh, activity? The Israeli explanation always is and always has been throughout the whole year that if they attack a school or a hospital, they, they attack because they are uh, terrorist activists, Hamas activists hiding there and they are getting shelter there. So uh, this has always been the uh, the, the reason, uh, so they are targeting uh, fighters, uh, and unfortunately, civilians are often uh, hit as a result of it. All right, let me ask you about Israel's actions on, on UNRWA now. UNRWA has been in Israel's sights for many years now. It didn't start on October the 7th. Why is it going after this organization? It's a UN organization in this way that Israel itself agreed that needed to be set up. And will it actually implement this ban? Yeah, first, I think the, the vote of yesterday in the Israeli Knesset is a mistake, probably also an historic mistake. Uh, it shows that our parliament is traumatized uh, and that the Jewish people in Israel are still traumatized by the effects of the 7th of October last year. Uh, the public knows a lot about Hamas activists that were working for UNRWA uh, and were caught uh, assisting Hamas, but uh, the public knows very little about what UNRWA really does, both in Gaza, East Jerusalem, West Bank, uh, and, and the fact that UNRWA is a UN entity, UN organization, and what the parliament did yesterday is in fact a, a breach of the UN Charter, so this the public doesn't know much about. Right, but do you think that this ban will be implemented because if Israel prevents UNRWA from operating uh, its critical services in Gaza, in the West Bank, it is then under the legal obligation to provide those services itself. It has a duty of care as the occupying force. It has a legal responsibility. So. Will the ban be implemented, do you think? I think uh, here we have a double mistake, first of all, regarding UNRWA itself, but also the fact that Israel didn't present any alternative. And uh, I know that during the Blinken visit here and his meeting with Netanyahu, this was probably the main issue that they discussed. How uh, will the humanitarian aid reach the population in Gaza? Now it's also a matter of East Jerusalem if UNRWA goes out. So uh, it's, it's tragic that Israel is discussing the issue so, so much time, has offers regarding specific plans uh, how to handle it, the humanitarian aid and doesn't have a decision. So in fact, if uh, the activities of UNRWA will really be damaged, seriously damaged, there is not no one to come in 
and fill up the gap. And uh, this is tragic. Thank you so much for speaking to us and sharing the Israeli perspective with us there. Alan Liel joining us from Tel Aviv. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.